Okay, this is going to be a complete video that explains the importance of everything that we've done. And I've tried to give lots of intuition. And I'm just giving more intuition about this. This expands much more than multiple or simple linear regression. Okay, people don't teach so much effort into regression for the sake of being a god at regression. Okay, that's really not the reason. It explains most of supervised learning, which is about learning parameters of a fixed model. Okay, so we had to find an architecture of a model. We're going to say it's a linear. So we're modeling a continuous value is equal to uh, a linear format of beta naught plus beta one times x plus beta two times x and so on. Okay, so that is the architecture which we define as this linear model. And it has these parameters that we have to learn, which are just numbers. And they're always just numbers. Whatever model we're going to look at, they're all going to be numbers and they are going to be numbers that we tune so that we try to minimize some error. Okay, we minimize the here's we got a good MSE because we trained our parameters and we got a low MSE or a low error. And this error function or loss function makes sense for our problem. Okay, we're going to see other loss functions that make sense for other problems we're going to solve. All right, so it's about learning parameters and we do that by minimizing the error function and we use calculus to do that by looking at the derivatives of the slopes or of the parameters okay so we look at the derivatives of the loss function for the parameters and we try to set that to zero to minimize the loss but what we're going to see pretty shortly and we're going to do a project first before i get into that but i want to explain the importance here is that coming up we will not be able to just do something like this where we call train params and then it absolutely minimizes the MSC as low as it could possibly go. You couldn't get a smaller value than this. And the reason for that is because of the problem of linear regression, it is simple. And so if you can kind of picture a bowl shape of the MSC and we can get to the very bottom of it. But coming up, we won't be able to do that. We're going to get some weirder functions and more complicated models such that you can't just find the absolute minimum of it. If we could, we absolutely would. And then unless it took in like an infinite amount of time, which is also not a good solution, but we can't really do that. And so we're going to use again calculus. That's why I made a big deal about taking derivatives. We should be able to take derivatives and I'm not going to make you take super complicated ones. It's just really important to know the basics of what's going on there. And so we can take derivatives and we'll see actually how to iteratively decrease the MSE, decrease the error in our function to get it lower and lower. And we'll hit what we call a local minimum, not a maximum or not a local or a complete minimum or an absolute minimum. We settle on some decent error instead of finding the absolute minimum one because that's basically impossible. Okay, and we'll see how to do that. It's called gradient descent. We'll see that soon, but first we are going to make a project in linear regression. Since we did all of this stuff, it's probably good to actually get some good hands-on practice here. So I will see you in that video when we make a nice project.